going on cigar world what's going on cigar enthusiasts this is jack the cigar enthusiast and i'm back with another video and today we're talking about cellophane or no cellophane so with that being said strap in buckle up and let's go What's going on everybody and welcome back to Jack the Cigar Enthusiast channel. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell and give me a big thumbs up. That way we can keep coming with this fire content. With that being said, today is a topic that I feel like we all need to really understand because you know too many times you see out there that there's different opinions on what to do in this particular area. Now, the area I'm talking about is cellophane or no cellophane on your cigars when you store them or when you, when you just put them in a humidor at a retail store. And we're going to dive into that just a little bit with the facts and also some of my opinions on if you should keep them or not. Now, cellophane, let's just break down cellophane in a sense. A lot of people misconstrue this as if it's a plastic sheet that goes on a cigar. One thing to debunk right now is the fact that this is not a plastic sheet. This is actually something called cellophane, which created using the cellulose found in trees. So this is an all natural product that you will often see on your cigars, but you will often see these in different parts of your life, such as food. Food is typically packaged with cellophane because it's used to protect the flu and also keeps out bacteria, bugs, and just some germs from people touching it and different things of that nature. Same concept applies to cigars. Have you thought about it? How many people actually touch cigars when they go to a humidor and they look and they're like, oh, oh my God, this is cool. This is dope. Yeah, but you know your germs on the actual cigar. So cellophane really does protect from that. But let's just break down cellophane just a tad bit more so we can understand everything behind it and we can make a logical decision on what we decide to do with our cigars and our humidor. Now cellophane, like I told you, is an all natural product which is created using the cellulose found in trees. Now with that being said, cellophane was created because it's really great for cigars, especially in the travel stages from the factory to the humidor or whatever your retail shop is. Cellophane is a breathable product that allows humidity to come in as necessary and pushes humidity out as necessary to control the temperature of the actual cigar. Now, a lot of people be like, well, it stops it from actually marinating with the other cigars that you have in your humidor. And that is correct. But you think about it from a retail standpoint, majority of the cigars that have a cellophane on it, it's typically not going to be bunched up with a, other cigars. Now, the comment of what I should do, should I take it off, should I leave it on for my personal humidor, that's something that we're going to go into. But for retail lounges itself, I personally am my stand on it as much as possible because it protects the smoker and it also allows the, that cigar to really just kind of marinate in itself. Now, have you ever noticed that, if you can see, that your cellophane starts to get a little yellow or brown. What it's saying is that cellophane has been sitting and it's really starting to marinate with that cigar. And that's pretty much a great indicator to really figure out if a cigar is really ready to smoke. If your cellophane is, you know, looks practically brand new, that's times out of 10 that tobacco within that cigar really hasn't had time to marinate. Um, so I use it as an indicator uh, if that cigar is ready. Everybody agrees, and not everybody uses that same concept. Now, the last thing that cellophane is notorious for, it protects your cigars from nicks and cuts, and it also protects it to the point you actually make it to your actual humidor. Why? Because in today's society, a lot more people are optimistic about really finding their palate and really finding, you know, some great cigars out there that's on the market. 
So most of the time, back in the day, a lot of people really used to just buy boxes and boxes of cigars because they knew exactly what they liked and they knew exactly what they wanted. And the chances of them actually experiment with other cigars was slim to none. Within today's society, and I know a lot of brick and mortars can really agree to this, a lot of people are buying individual cigars. So with that being said, let's just say you're in the process of traveling or whatever the case may be and you have some cigars and you drop them nine times out of ten um and again this is nine times out of ten your cigar that does not have a cellophane on it is probably going to crack so on the opposite end let's just say you don't prefer your cigars to be stored in your humidor within the cellophane it allows a little bit more humidity and moisture to get to your cigar and really be able to get to that point of 70-70 that you want your cigar at when you actually smoke it. That way you can really enjoy it. Now it also allows your cigar to marinate with the rest of the cigars that you have in your humidor that would allow you to really start to bring the robust flavors uh, and start to really gather that what is called as plump on your cigar, which is the oils of the cigar exfoliating out of the wrapper. Now, there is some downfalls to this, and it's best that we understand those, because if we don't, then we're going to be lost in this epiphany that it's best to just have your cigars without cellophane in your humidor, which I don't necessarily agree. Now, let's just say you, get, you bring home a bad cigar that started to mold in the inside of the cigar. You really could not tell that it was molding, and you put that in humidor with all your other cigars. Let's just say that cigar had a bunch of moisture and again, which is the reason why I caused it to mold. And you put that in your humidor, what's going to happen to the other cigars within your humidor? That's right. It's going to uh, start attracting mold. And again, it can not only damage that one cigar, but it can damage the cigars in relationship to those or next to those cigars. So with that being said, I think, you know, me personally, uh, I don't think there is a wrong or right way to say you shouldn't keep your cigars in your humidor with cellophane or yes, you should keep your cigars in, in your humidor with cellophane because they both kind of work the same way. Now, the concept and what I'm going to leave you with here is to you keep your cellophane on or you don't keep your cellophane on. It's definitely based on opinion and preference. Again. I have laid out all the facts for you, but it is based on preference. Do you want your cigars to marry with each other? Do you want the oils to really kind of latch on to each cigar? Now, I'm not saying it's going to latch on like that. No, what I'm saying is they're going to marinate together, right? Or do you want it to kind of marinate on its own? Because with or without the cellophane, your cigar is still going to keep the proper moisture. It's still going to keep the proper humidity that it needs. It's still going to be great for the cigar. So if you've been one of those people trying to figure out, should I keep the cellophane on? Do you want to? Or do you want to take it off? It's really based on what it is that you want to do. With that being said, I'm Jack the Cigar Enthusiast. All the cigars, which is the Perdomo 20th anniversary and the Rocky Patel 15th anniversary, can all be found on DapperDCigars.com. Go over there and shop for all your cigar needs at affordable pricing. With that being said, also go follow me on Facebook, Dapper D Cigars. Also, go follow me on Instagram at Dapper D Cigars. I mentioned this in the comments below, so just click it, press a follow, and, and go ahead on with your life. Also, go and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and give me a big thumbs up. I'm Jack the Cigar Enthusiast, and I'm gone.